Hey kids, what you're looking at is the original Bin Laden video uh, that was uploaded earlier this year to YouTube, but YouTube wouldn't let you see it, so they took it down. So what I'm doing is I'm making another video and I'm just translating it, you know, as we go. This is the narration, and this is the fake Bin Laden you're looking at right now. So let me break it down. Uh, we were told that, you know, the the Pentagon and the World Trade Center were attacked, and, and this guy was behind it. Um, they didn't really tell us why he was behind it. It's all of a sudden that just became the story. And at the very same time, uh, they were saying we, we had to go to uh, war, you know, in Afghanistan. And at first, immediately following 9-11, and then two years later in Iraq, as a result of this guy, is what they told us. And they had all these kind of pictures, you know, Fox News and all them. They was putting him up there saying he was taunting the United States and, you know, this kind of thing. You know, so, you know, it was a big deal. Now, at the same time, they had the technology to tap into everybody's devices. You know, your phone, smartphone, and your laptops and, and this kind of thing. But, you know, <clears throat> they used to say this is something they didn't do because it made people feel like they had some freedom. Uh, but this was a way that they could do it now uh, that, you know, became acceptable to the public. So they began to use uh, the technology to monitor people's behaviors, whereabouts, activities, etc. They got the satellites in the sky, you can see. And yeah, this became all, you know, pretext in the name of the thing called terrorism. Pretext is, is a reason for a reason, but not the real reason. You know, we're going into digital currency age. They say it's uh, disattached from the central banks, but the central banks are the ones that are beginning to use it. So this kind of lies that the mainstream Western media sources will feed you, and they'll continue to feed it because it's a process of programming. And they want you to think like a perfect slave to work for them to maximize the output so they can live uh, extravagantly. Uh, you know, they got all this propaganda. They want to make you think that the people in Afghanistan really wanted the, you know, Marines or whatever they are to go into that. George Bush, he declares, you know, we need to go to war. Here they come. And by the way, uh, they're going away now uh, because what they said was the most powerful nation in the world got ran out by uh, the legitimate government in Afghanistan while George Bush had declared uh, the war was over uh, after they hung the uh, leader of Iraq. You see, Iraq and Afghanistan don't have too much ties except that they're both in areas that were, uh, you know, falling out of the hands of the predators. Uh, the news pretended to interview the fake bin Laden. However, this is the real bin Laden. Uh, he was wanted for this uh, bombing in Kenya uh, in the 1998 and as well as a, a 2001 uh, or 2000 rather bombing of a U.S. naval ship. So this is the real deal, the real guy. And he was making videos, you know, on the Internet. People were listening to him. Now check these two guys out. If you think that these people look the same, you might need to get your brain examined. Um, you know, so this is kind of like a form of mockery. The world classes are showing you this and they're saying, there's nothing anybody can do about it. But these are not the same eyes. Uh, you can see that. Uh, you don't have to look very closely. Uh, you know, again, 9-11 was a big scare. Uh, the Fox News put this guy on television. They said he was making fun of the, the attacks. You know, the real deal is, uh, you know, the reports had come out. Bin Laden had denied the attacks. However, uh, you know, they continued to prop up. You know, basically, people are affected by what they see, kids. So <clears throat> if the mainstream media keeps showing you something on that device, eventually it's going to sink in and affect the way that you think. And they have control over what you see. That's how they were able to keep this video from you. Um, but this is the version for kids. That's the real Ben Laden. This is the fake one. Again, you, you know, you look at one guy, he's real serious. He looks like he's all, all about it. Then you look at the other guy and he looks like he's trying to, you know, 
entertain himself. Um, so it's the image, um, you know. And this, this, we don't know how many of these characters <clears throat> that they were they were able, able to muster up, uh, but they certainly had them, you know, in their, you know, propaganda schemes. To, you know, it's an image. It's going to affect you emotionally, make you think one way, give more power to those people who already had the power. Uh, they're very afraid of losing it, so that's why they have to continue to pay to prop up these police and to sell this uh, garbage as propaganda. Here's the real Bin Laden again, a serious uh, person, you can see. In an effort to contain the populations and control the cultures, uh, these staged oppositions are used to function on behalf of the world classes, pretending to fight on behalf of the masses, such as this ISIS group, you know, these kids from Australia and stuff. This was a real individual uh, that started a magazine in the U.S. and he was killed with the drone. The, you know, the U.S. was claimed responsibility. They said that he was maybe going to attack them. Um, he was with another individual too. You know, a bunch of people just started getting killed with these drones lately. But the real thing that we would like to highlight as part of this uh, video is that Bin Laden was a climate activist and he fought against the destruction of the planet. Uh, which the the mainstream uh, power sources won't highlight. They won't let you know that, you know, uh, the Earth will probably not be around in 100 years. Because if they started telling people that, people would freak out. So Bin Laden was one person from a really uh, prominently oil-rich nation uh, that was loaded you know, with cash, and he decided to turn. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't decide to live that life as some kind of a, a, a playboy, uh, you know, gigolo, uh, you know, uh, puppet, uh, wolf man. You know, he turned and he decided to do the right thing, speak out against the climate, uh, against the destruction of the planet, and that's when he became a target.